Hey guys, I'm here at the Jacob Javits Center for the grand tradition of Comic-Con. I'm hanging out with great vendors like Hasbro, Marvel, and DC Comics in a great celebration of nerd culture. The nearly 16-acre convention center played host to large exhibitions of new ventures such as the Marvel Avengers, PlayStation's Just Dance 3, and even MTV Geek. Electronic gaming also reared its strangely misshapen head as Comic-Con served as the Intel Grandmasters tournament stage. Away from all the hype and technology, one could still find good, old-fashioned comics as dozens of dealers came out for the event. Let's go over to Jackie Loader for her report on the experience. Jackie? Thanks, Ian. I'm Jackie Loader, and this is my first time at Comic-Con. And needless to say, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Thanks, Jackie. Besides the vendors, tournaments, and comics, there was another thing to see, the cosplayers. For this report, we go to Nikki Santana. Nikki? Hey, Ian, I'm here on the floors, and I'm asking people why they came to this year's Comic-Con. I'm Fiona from Adventure Time. And I'm Finn from Adventure Time. It's great. Hey, so what's your favorite part of Comic-Con? I think it would have to be, like, the things you can buy, and just, like, there's a huge range of, like, art and and people you can see in all the costumes. Yeah, I just love seeing all the costumes and everybody do their thing. It's nice to see everybody in one place doing it. So. Um, I'm dressed as Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim Comics, sort of. What's your, what's your uh, favorite part of Comic Con? Um, I don't know, probably just walking around, I guess. Yeah. So what's your favorite part of Comic Con? And what are you dressed up as today? Okay, thanks! Oh no, thank you, Nikki. Comic-Con filled the Javits Center with excitement, celebration, and perspiration, and won't soon be forgot, that is, until next year's. For Inside MSU, I'm Ian Elliott.